What's up you guys? What's up? Welcome back to another video with your boy Abe Shaw. Why do I have a hoodie on? Uh, man, as you can see by the title of this video, we officially had our first 100k day of 2023. It's like, when I say I'm locked in right now, hear me when I say I'm literally locked in, bro. Like, literally locked in. Like, sheesh, we start out... There you have goals. I told you guys in December. I told you guys we got goals for each different quarter. So far, I'm knocking out two of my goals so far for just quarter one alone. Obviously, one of them being getting the first uh, funded account with Atima, right? I already started another challenge that I have a whole series for that already being documented right now for you guys. So that way, y'all can get all the videos back to back when we get ready to drop. And then now, officially today, we had the first 100K day in the market. Off of SPS 500, off of US 30, off of dot, all my big, my big three that I always call trades on. I didn't even, did I even, I think I sent out a nice 100 one too, but it doesn't even matter about that one. I don't forgot. I got to actually update the channel on that one. That's crazy. But it's like, every alignment, everything is aligning. You feel me? Everything that I prayed for, everything I worked hard for. I want you to understand why you're watching this video right now. This didn't happen overnight. I've been trading for five years, five years in the game. Feel me? Like it's not like oh I just popped up out of the blue and now I'm just making six figure days in the market like it's normal or like I'm just having all these success and results like it's normal. Cause it's not. I understand that. And I want you to understand that too as you're watching me on my journey. Um just as I start to build my platform up and just getting more um I wanna say like like more like brand awareness as people start to learn more who about who I am as I start to grow and stuff. I don't want y'all to think this just 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 happened. All, all the success that I'm having right now is just the product of all my discipline, all my hard nights I was working and studying and grinding. So as I'm growing my following, remember y'all was the OG. Y'all was hearing me, my YouTube family, whatever. I think it was at like 2.30 right now, 2.31. Y'all the OG memories right now. Y'all was with me since the beginning of really, the beginning of just like the YouTube where just like everybody getting hip to who Abe Shaw is, who is Wealthy Traders Academy, what is Wealthy Traders, everything as a whole. So y'all here, y'all here from the beginning of this standpoint, but understand I have been doing it since 2018. So, without further ado, let's go ahead, man. Hop into the charts. Let's hop into. Let's see which one. Which breakdown I want to give y'all? I'm gonna get SPS 500. We always talk about SPS 500. So I'm gonna just give y'all the SPS 500 breakdown, and we'll go from there. I'll talk more about it in there. Let's get it. All right. So this is crazy. Uh, it's like, where do I even begin? So let's replay. Really, let's replay. We can go all the way back here. It doesn't matter. So last night, the starters in the chat sent out this buy. We first of all we caught the buy going up for the uptrend, back to the retest. I knew it was coming back to these resistance level. How did I know? Uh, I think I, I I feel like we talk about this all the time in the um, on the YouTube channel, like different scenarios. How like what well, goes up. Let's go back down. As you, this is a perfect example. It took off the uptrend. What happened? Came right back down. What happened? Went right back up. It's literally playing in the zone right now, right? If you haven't realized that by now, hopefully now you realize that we're literally in a big zone market on a one-hour time frame for SPS 500 for all the indices, honestly, at this point. Um, so last night, right? I'm starting the time. Caught out the buy. As you can see, well, you don't see because this is the sell setup. All TP smash. Now, as we got to the sale today, and actually, no, I'm going to see if I can put a screenshot up. I'm going to see if I can put a screenshot up. I said, like, I literally called it last night. It was, um, let me actually. All right, so I'm going to make sure I put this in the video. I said, I got a feeling we might see some downtrend move tomorrow. This is after I already called the buys, right? So this is at 1.04 a.m. I got a feeling. I know it's unemployment news. We talk about unemployment news on this channel all the time. Go back to the earlier videos where I did SPS breakdown for unemployment clients, unemployment news, how you can actually trade. I actually teach y'all in that YouTube video how to actually trade in unemployment. So there's no reason why you're not making money every single Thursday when unemployment claims and news come out. And if you still aren't making money, if you don't want to take the time and do it yourself, just join us in the chat. I'll call the trade for you, and that just does all the heavy lifting, so then you don't got to worry about it, right? But... Like I said, I'm going to put this screenshot right here. It says, got a feeling we might see some news tomorrow. And then after that, you'll probably see all uh, 70 pieces smashed on SPS at 8.25 a.m. that morning. Right? So let's get back to the charts. Back to the charts. Right? So news came out. Unemployment claims came out at 
I believe it came out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me make sure. So yeah, I don't be like, oh, no, it didn't break, came out. Yep, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't even got to know what the news is. All I saw that it was negative. I saw that it said 196 actual was the uh, the actual unemployment claims that came out. It's forecast to be 191. It actually ended up being 196. So what does that mean? It was more people that filed for unemployment versus what they expected. So that was negative impact for the indices. I said in the chat, once again, I said, hey, don't fall for the buy, basically. I said, don't fall for the buy, basically. It's, like, don't worry about the push. It's going to push. I'm going to press back. We're not even at the time. I said, hey, it's going to the push. It's going to give you a fake push out. Ignore it. If it fakes out, it fakes out. Just ignore that. None of that matters. All that is irrelevant. Don't worry about I think it was literally because it was 8.30 a.m. This is a fake buy. I said, don't worry about it. Focus on the overall downtrend in the market. Let the downtrend market show you what the real play is going to be. And then they got the alert. Enter uh, the sale area. Set a break and close at 41.45. And then as you, as you guys know, literally the rest is history. As you can see, the first couple of times we entered, what happened? It started pulling back playing around, retesting, but kept closing. Didn't really close, but it was not trying to come near us. Our stop losses at 41.55. Didn't even come back. Literally was just wicking and acting like it wanted to go for the buy, faking people out. I don't know how many people probably got faked out in this move. Um, if you're one of them watching this video, I do apologize to you. Um, I'm sorry that happened to you. You feel me? But now you know. Now it's just like a learning experience. Every ill is a lesson. Turn that lesson into a W. And I actually talked about that in the last video. That's crazy. But look, so as you can see, playing around Wick City, entered off of this, was it this one or this one? It may have been this one, because I think it pulled back a little bit, but I wasn't paying attention. I was literally laying down in bed, relaxing. <laughs> That's great. But next count, as you can see, boom, TP1, TP2 smash. Boom, TP3 smash. Boom, TP4, TP5 smash. And the rest was history. It still was going for the downtrend. I was like, by the time I closed, and y'all know it's crazy. Y'all saw my entries. I had like two or three entries on SPS. I had like two. I had about two entries. I had two entries on US 30, two entries on SPS, two or three entries on SPS, honestly. And then dots, I had like two. But I closed one of each position. If I would have let that US 30 position rock, oh my gosh. Like, yeah, I made 100K today. I'm truly grateful. But it easily could have been a 200K day in the markets. US 30 alone would have brought me in like, hold on, because what did I mean? Oh my goodness, bro. I was I was hurt when I realized that. But I'm like, you know what? It's cool, bro. Like I did the right thing. I used proper risk management. I didn't over leverage. I made sure, like, all right, it ain't pushing how it's pushing. So I'm gonna wait. And by the time I realized, like, dang, bro, you didn't need to wait no more. You could have just uh entered enter again. Obviously, it took off. So, but it's cool. Like literally on one position on US 30, I made seventy thousand dollars. And the second entry was right next to that first entry. So that's 70 plus 70, that's 140,000. The SPS entry, one entry I made $22,000 off. If I didn't close the other one, I could have made another 22,000. So that's 40,000 right there. That's another seven, that's literally 130 plus the set. Like literally it would have been literally around what? 210, 220. And that's not even including the dots. Like, man, it's cool though. It's cool. It's still first quarter, my guy. It is still in February and it's still more setups to take. Now, I'm going to give you all a hint. I'm not giving you all no free setup. If you want the free setup, join, click the link in the gold, the gold chat. I might bless y'all with a NAS 100 trade tonight. I might give y'all a NAS 100 one, right? But because um, I already gave, in the gold chat right now, it's already set up. I just dropped down. No, I gave you the chart setup, the breakdown videos in the GDP chat. My fault. But the gold chat, y'all got a free setup on gold for the move for tonight. And then I may, I think I might give y'all a NAS 100 one just because I haven't gave y'all one in a minute. Uh, but but man, like, this move is crazy, bro. Unemployment claims for the win every single time. Like, literally. Every single time, unemployment claims is going to hit. Like, like I, can't, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. Like, <laughs> it's funny. <'cause> I, <laughs> no, I don't have worries. That's funny. That's actually funny. But I'm extremely grateful. I like all serious why am I stuttering? All seriousness. I am extremely grateful to be in the position that I'm in. And just like even like my academy members and just the people that's in my center shot, like use this as motivation for y'all. Like I've seen people saying like, bro, like they just motivate me. Like, use this to turn you up. But remember, I've been in this for five years. 
that's how I got to this point. Um, for those that already know, y'all can use the funded account. Use the funded account plans to actually like give you the capital to actually trade larger sums of money. But just ultimately, bro, do not quit. I don't care if you tired. I don't care if it's mentally messing with you. Take first of all, take you could take a mental break, but do not quit. Take that time to reset. Figure out some type of way to let go, like steam, um, whatever you need to do to get back to like, okay, focus. I, I'm gonna live to trade another day. I have a whole nother. I may have lost some day, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna have a losing streak tomorrow. Like I had a, I ain't gonna say a week. I had about a day or two while I was on a losing streak. You know, especially the mental battle on funded accounts are way different too versus like if I'm on my own actual account. Cause then I'm like, okay, it's my money. I'm not really tripping. I can. Um, I know how to leverage to get my money back or just risk on the move. But when you're on the funding account, that mental battle. So for all the people that's about to do the funding accounts, make sure that mental is ready to be tested. Because, like, not to say that like, you're not going to hit TP every single time. But for those trades that you um, don't hit TP on, when you get caught in drawdown, that's that's when that mental test is going to come in and kick you. So be mindful of that. But that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's how I made nearly 100k day in the markets. Could have been 220, but it's cool. Um, if you want to join the chat, you yeah, know what to do. Visit the website. Uh, remember, I have the NEC chat, three month, six month, 12 month plan, and then I have a currency chat, which is only a three month plan. That's my cheapest. That's the cheapest thing on my website right now, the currency chat. And then for those that want the EA bot, there are only two EA bots left for 2023. Y'all went crazy. So shout out to y'all. Y'all went crazy for the, the people that got it already. Shout out to y'all. This week, it's been chilling. It hasn't really been like, well, for me, because I've been trading on the NAS 100 bot right now. It hasn't really been at, it hasn't been active only because, obviously, like, it trades. I have strict rules on my bot. So, like, the setup isn't how it's supposed to look. It ain't going to take that chances. It actually has been doing good. I'm glad it hasn't been taking certain sales because, like, obviously, the market has been in Wikipedia, Wiki, Wiki City right now. You feel me? But next week, it's going to be back popping. Not every setup needs you don't. It's not about the quantity. Let me say that. Not about the quantity. It's about the quality of the setup. And I really appreciate my bot. My bot is strictly off of quality. And I love it. But alright, y'all. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this like quick breakdown. How I had my 100k day. Um, many more to come. Hopefully the next time. That'd be fire. I would love to do an interview like my mentee. Like one of my mentees. If you watching this. Ooh, I'm, that's gonna be sweet. Let me see. One, for every mentee, when they first get their first 100K day in the market, I got an interview. I got to. And I'm going to interview you at the compound. I'm going to interview you at the, at the wheelchair compound. Get the office set up and everything. Get the, like, the podcast look and everything set up on there. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I hope you're ready. But all right, enough of me rambling. Now nah, for real, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Uh, don't know what it's going to be. It might be the actual the fun of the account series with the 200K account. Um... It'll probably be released. What's today? Thursday. It'll probably be released next week. Sometime this week. That series will come out. Yeah. Alright, y'all. Peace out.